site that's more, more, more than likely going to be the scaffolding uh, so we plumbed up the first truss nice and plumb and we've got the bracing down here as you can see this is only a small one so we only need one on one side if it was a bigger truss more than likely put another one over the other side as well and again in here we haven't got any wind so we're quite lucky but it, it is going to stay nice in position as I say Got to be wary of that if it is a big truss you will need to put two of these down and follow the same procedure each side making sure it's nice and plumb before you carry on and getting the other ones into position as you can see now we've got the second one in position we've packed it at the bottom now what i forgot to mention last time is when you get the uh, trusses delivered on site there'll be a line on one side. That's just to tell you to keep all that line pointing the same way. Trusses have been made in a jig, so it's just the way they came out of that jig, you want them pointing the same way. Usually there's not much discrepancy, but just to be on the safe side, keep the line facing the same way. So with one of the uh, bits of bracing that I've already marked out, as you can see, I've just tacked in the nails just to make it a little bit easier as you go and from the first one making sure the line is where it needs to be and the cross is where the uh, truss is same with this one try and keep it as parallel as you can again this is the temporary brace so we're not going to nail those all the way because again even on a, a roof that you're doing that's staying on this temporary brace is going to come off so i'll carry on now and get the others up using the same method as you can see i'm not measuring all the time because i've got my lines there okay okay so we've got the last one in position and this is worth doing as you keep going through the process, and again, this is only a small roof, so we can get away with using a straight edge just to make sure that we're running nicely in line. And as you can see that we are here, if you need to move it across, you can just move it a little bit. Again, still great. We don't need to worry about levelling all the others up now because we've got that level start with. So we're all tacked up now, so what we're going to do, put all the bracing in and start nailing it up. And I'll just show you through the process. Again, if you're working by yourself, it's a little bit difficult of how we can mark that out as well, to keep it nice and simple for you. Okay. Okay, so now um, what I've done here, again, I'm working by myself. We've got our four nose points on this roof. Usually there's, there's five. We could put five in. Uh, usually it's one at the top, two, three, four, and five. But if you look at your drawing, we've got four. So it doesn't matter which side on this it's going to go, and it doesn't matter either on the top which side as long as it's as high up as you can get so with our bracing that we've marked out we've got our first one in here and again making sure when we do nail it up that they're following the right side and so what i've done here i'll show you on this side is i've measured down leaving a gap at the top um, because we've got our diagonal bracing to go on and again this is handy if you're working by yourself 
keep it nice and straight as well. You're not messing around with the uh, bracing. Just the nail will hold it in position for you. And then we can tack it all up. So I'll just do that. And the same, same with this side here. We've got the nail ready in position. I'm only going to put one nail in because as I say, we're going to take it apart for the next student to use it. Um, on the building site, the regulations, you'd always double nail your bracing. So we'll get this bracing in, we'll get the top one in, then I'll show you um, about the diagonal bracing. I'm just going to check now again, making sure everything's still level, make sure it's nice and plumb down. Because at this stage, there's still quite a lot of movement. Even if these were double nailed, you can still move the trusses. And I've kept to my pencil lines so I know that everything is running nice and true all the way through. Again, I'm happy with that, it's nice and plumb. So what I'm going to do now is get my diagonal bracing, getting that through, and that's going to make it nice and secure. So again, the reason why I've left the middle bracing down a little bit, as you can see, is so this diagonal bracing then will go underneath it. The other thing that we need to do now, um, obviously you've, you've got the roofers coming, you've got the bricklayers coming, we'll chop all these off, but we need to get rid of um, our temporary bracing. That was all the bracing from the outside, because the roofer would come, put his felt on and lap it up. He's not going to want these in the way, so I'm just going to remove this, say, with all the bracings on in the middle it's not going to go anywhere because that's the main structure now. And as I say, once you've got your diagonal bracing on, so long as you can see that up there, you can see that's solid. It's not going to go anywhere. So any wind, it's not going to push it over. And as I say, the brick layers are going to brick up here and the straps from your bracing over to the, uh, the block work, brick layers will brick that in and that's going to tie the roof and the, uh, the bricks all together making the structure one, one nice structure. Okay.